All right, Ms. Hilton, you may continue now. Now, before we go, we'll talk about this. Okay? Do you see that tweet from November 28, 2011, Mr. Murphy? At the top of the page? No. Yeah, I see the top one? The top one. Yeah, I see well, it. Can you read it? Why are you trying to make me read all that childish stuff, man? Let me ask you this. In 2011, you were 20 years old? Yeah. All right. Can you read it, please? I was still a child, though, mentally. I won. Because okay. that's what you were getting at, right? My age. But you were 20 years old? Yeah, I was 20 years old. I was physically grown, but mentally I was not in my right mind. I understand. Okay. Can you read it? Don't let these niggas trick y'all. They not with this red cartel shit. Great. See what I'm saying? They don't even make sense. Okay. And I'm on bleeding with it. Pull up. Whatever that part of me. Guns and hate it on hood. And that was a tweet that came from your account. Whether it's child or not, you tweeted that from your account. I don't remember tweeting it. Okay. But it's... That's my account, though. All right. <clears throat> Next... I'm going to go to that same exhibit, and we're going to look at August 17th. Well, let me back up. This um, tweet on October 7th, 2012, at the top of the page. The blurry side of that, is, is that you? No, it might be. Okay. Who's the person next to you? That Buck. That's Buck? Yeah. Do they call him Buck Buck? Buck, Buck, Buck. Okay. I, don't know. I call him Buck. All right. And. And what does that tweet say? I am my brother's keeper. I love you, little bro Brody. And what are the hashtags? Real nigga club, bitch. SMM and ROB. Little <laughs> Heidi. Okay. What's ROB? I don't know, I think that's like rock crew. Okay. When you say you think that's rock crew, what do you mean? I think that's rock crew. What I said. Okay, so rock crew also used ROB. Yeah. Okay. And what did the B in ROB stand for? I don't know. I can't tell you what it stands for. Okay. I know that that, that means rock crew though. All right. <clears throat> And going down on that same page, on August 17th, 2012, what does that tweet say? I'm a raw, I'm a ROB every day. I don't, okay. I think I, if I tweeted that, I definitely misspelled it. Okay. And why would, why do you believe you would have definitely misspelled it if you would have tweeted it? Because I probably would have said, like... I'm on Cleveland every day. Okay. All right. And looking at the tweet on November 7, 2012, what does that say? On what day? November 7, 2012. I wrote B Bath. 
Black, black, I don't, I don't even know what none of that means. All right. But that's a tweet from your Twitter account. Yeah. All right. We're going to... All right, we're gonna go to the next tweet, which will be on September 7th, 2000. When you said the next tweet, that's the next tweet that came off that account? No, 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 we're, I'm sorry. I was talking to you, I was talking uh -huh. to Miss, uh, Miss Knight. Now, September 7th, 2012, did you retweet a tweet? I don't know what I did, but then. Okay. What is the tweet that's on September 7, 2012? Maybach, Rolex, yeah. um, back, what? On September 7, oh. 2012. Read Rolex. If you can read, you know what, um, Banging, I'm a billboard, what? I'm a billboard for the set, I don't know what that mean. Peak gang or net, I don't know what that mean. So you don't know what peak gang is? No. Okay. I never heard of that. All right, do you know who Reek underscore Rolak is? No. All right. Have you ever heard of Peter Rolak? No. All right. We can move to May 26, 2012. Right. Looking at May 26, 2012, what does that tweet say? Mob SMM. Okay. What does SMM stand for? Says Money Murder. All right. Now we're going to skip down. To May 10th, 2012, on that same page. What did you tweet on that page, on, on that date? I, I said I want the only person with this account. I don't. Okay. What was tweeted from that account? Okay. Where that you said? May 10th, 2012. Fuck a nigga if he ain't SMR. And what's the tweet on May 7, 2012? Bloods Fly Hot, SMM. Okay. That's a song. All right. And is SMM, is that for Sex, Money, Murder? No, that's a song. But is SMM for Sex, Money, Murder? I already said it. Hold on, hold on. You got an objection, sir? I stand on objection. Going to May 30th, 2012. You can read it. Oh. May 30th. May 30th. Got the whole SMM behind me. Black and some emojis. Okay. What are the emojis? Two water guns, a finger, and some stuff. Um, O's. Okay. Is there any significance of why you have two water guns versus one or three? I, or, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not the only person who had the password to that account. Okay. Once again. Is there any significance of why there is a bolded B? I wasn't the only person with that account. Once again. All right. Is there any significance to the bolded B? I don't remember. All right. <laughs> And then going down to August 5th, 2012, what does that say? My SMM family? That's what you're talking about? Well, you can look at that too, but I was looking at the one beneath that, August 5th, 2012. Huh? I was the August 5th? August 5th, 2012. I just pray to God I make it to be 21. And then what does it say after all the exclamation points? It's a R05 SMM. What does R05 mean? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. All right. Now, you said that other people had access to your account. What was your relationship to these other people that had access to your accounts? Girls I was dealing with. 
friends, so, girls I was dealing with, friends. So were the girls that you were dealing with or your friends, were they a part of SMM? I don't want to put these people. These people ain't got nothing to do with me being up here or none of that. You don't know who the people are. I'm just asking you, were they a part of SMM? I don't recall. Okay. So why would they be tweeting about SMM? If it's not you. The same time. reason everybody was doing it back then. It was, it was the popular thing. Now, I want to go back. <clears throat> I think... Before we took a break, you said that, I believe you said something to the effect of you never claimed or be, were ever in a group outside of prison with other blood members. Do you recall saying that? Huh? Do you recall saying before we took a break that you had never been in a group with other bloods you outside? You said, was I in a group with people who call themselves blood? Correct. I said that would have had to be in prison or jail. Right, and I asked you outside of jail or prison, have you ever been in a group of individuals who are bloods? And you said no. Yeah. All right. I want to show you what's already been admitted at 60 WA. I want you to watch the video on the screen. Hey, baby. 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 We working too. We working. We working on the block. Hey man, where most of y'all niggas ran up with, man, my little girl got it on right now, man. Trey, man. She got, listen, she got a car and she ain't even walking yet, and that's on Trey. Hey, it's about. Hey, Rock, who's your man? Look. Man, what? I, they gotta get out the car. I really don't give a fuck, but. <laughs> bitch. No point. My way, go. Yeah, ho. No point. My way. Yeah, ho. Yeah, yeah, ho. Black, two guns up, nigga, salute. You understand me? Yeah, ho. Fuck two, two, six, money guy, bitch. Okay. I be that bloody trouble banging that sex, money murder, man. Get peed over, beat up. This shit tatted on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Pee up or get beat up, man. Yeah, ho. Fuck two, trouble, sex, money murder, man. Cream, cash, rule, everything. When a bitch get do, ho. You heard he just said, he said, say, they ain't passing the game. He said, give him an ounce, roll up. Yeah. Hey, man. He said, give him an ounce. He said, he said, give him an ounce. We got our apartments yeah, on go control. To the club, go to the club and get three, four ounces. <laughs> we got our apartments on control. Matter of fact, go to the club and get a pound hood. In a minute, homie. Yikes. He's talking about in a minute. And I'm riding with the chopstick. Hey, I'm going to show y'all what I'm riding in. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> um, um, y'all see big girl early shrimp fried rice? Shrimp fried rice a little bit. With a um, and fruit punch. Man, I'm the only bitch out here in this shit, though. That's serious. Hello. 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 Hey, y'all, that bitch called Valerie, man. So, 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 anybody play with him? Ooh. 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 1426, man. Louis V, everything. Louis V, true. What's that? What's that? Them Gucci. What's that? You know what I'm saying? They have my family kicking, man. You know what I'm saying? True religion, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They have my family kicking, man. That big bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Little brother and Louis. Louis, he said he, say he wants some, um, some uh, red bottom tomorrow. I told him no problem. I got him. You know what I'm saying? I was on my own call. You see it, man. I don't all them call. Anybody who knows somebody who ain't smoking right now, man. Tell them, come on, please. You need to go. You need to get this shit away, man. No fuck. I'm talking to Maybach right now. I got weed up. I'm talking to Maybach right now. I'm talking to Maybach, man. We got hold on our part. Man.
You know what I'm saying, man? We got cameras and shit out here, man. So anybody think they coming through, think they, they catching them, man? We ain't never slipping, man. We got niggas on walking, talking, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the candle lady working. You know what I'm saying? Bro, man. Everybody bust for Troy. You know what I'm saying? They're my blood brothers. You know what I'm saying? Bees up. Pee up and get beat up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But DKJ got it, and he got it on. You're DK, right? Are you DK? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Are you in prison in, that, in this video? Yeah, he said I just got out. Right. So yeah. you are, are you, are there other bloods in this video? Yeah, I don't, that ain't me with the camera. <laughs> but are you in the video with other bloods outside of prison? I'm in the, some apartments in the neighborhood. I'm not with nobody. I'm by myself. I just got out of jail. Okay. Are you in a group with other individuals? Yes, you are asking answer. I say you get you. Okay. You keep playing. And he got the screen up on him. Did you see those hand signs? Yeah, I seen the video. What were you doing with your hands? I don't know what I was doing. They were moving though. I don't know. Okay. So you don't know what they were? I don't know what they mean. I was just doing stuff. How did you learn those hand signs? You don't learn them. You just move them. Okay. Did someone show you how to do it? I watch videos on YouTube on stuff like that. Okay. And what videos did you watch on YouTube that showed you how to do those particular hand signs? Music videos. Okay. And are y'all doing a music video out there? I can't remember what we were doing out there. And did you have a strap on you that day? I don't recall. I just got out. I, I kept a gun, though, so I probably did have a gun. I don't know, though. And were you supposed to have a strap on you? Hmm? Huh? Were you supposed to have a strap on you? You had just gotten out? Yeah. You know, were you on bond? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even know what year that was. Okay. I heard him say my boy DK just got out, though, or something like that. All right. DK just got out. I heard that, though. What apartment <clears throat> complex is this? I'm not sure. I just see buildings. Let me ask you this. Did you see Trontavia Stevens in that video? Yeah. All right. Who else did you recognize in that video? Legia. Okay. Anybody else? No. He just got out yesterday. He just got out yesterday. This my other blood brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we kick. We kick shit. Nah. This is This is everyday, this is everyday thing. Oh, shit. Check out the chucks. This nigga's gonna stop playing if I can't hold a little bit. I got, I got. And so, again, were you out there with other members who claim blood in this apartment complex? I don't know what they claim. I know what I was claiming. Okay. And what were you claiming while you were out there? I was calling myself a blood. I already said that. Okay. And were these other? Did you hear these other people call themselves blood as well? Did you hear them call themselves blood as well in the video? I think so. Okay. Do you know an individual by the name of Christian McMiller or MacMan? MacMan. Yeah. How do you know Mr. McMiller? Um, we were raised up together. How? My play club, my play cousin. When you call, say your play cousin, what do you mean? Play cousin. Okay, what does that mean to you? A play cousin, like, you grow, you never grew up with nobody and your mom be like, that's your cousin, but that really ain't no blood, no kin to you. Okay, so your families knew each other? We grew up and get born together. Permission to approach? You may, as long as you show it to defense counsel. Yes. I'm going to show you what's been marked in Station Exhibit 7, Charlie Charles. Do you recognize any individuals inside of um, Station Exhibit 7, Charlie Charlie? Yeah. Um, who do you who do you recognize Station Exhibit 7, Charlie Charlie? That me. Okay. Anyone else? Matt Lane. Little Jeff. That's about it. And do you know who the <coughs> after I shoot her? Um, and is that fair after the picture of those individuals within that picture? 
I don't know about that. I don't know them other people, though. I don't know who I said I know, though. Who I seen. And do you remember when you took that picture at all? <clears throat> Sorry, Shh. 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 Sure. Do you remember when you all took that picture? Uh, I think I think I do. Okay. About what year was that picture? I don't know what year, but I know we was out of town, though. You were where? Out of town. Okay. Is it that fair, accurate depiction of that picture that you took while out of town with Mr. Uh, McMiller, Mr. Williams, and yourself, and some other individuals? I think so, yeah. Yeah, this time to say, like, Tennessee, he's a seven, Charlie, Charlie, into evidence. No opposition for Mr. Williams, Your Honor. All right, say Charlie, Charlie, can, is it made? You know, we publish as you see fit. I think it's seven, Charlie, Charlie. Seven, Charlie, Charlie, yes. Let me take it back. Did you know um, the Instagram account that was <laughs> that that picture is? Huh? You know whose Instagram that is? It's say Thugger Thugger One. The O five O five E. Oh no! Do you know whose um, no, Instagram no. that account? No man. You have permission to publish after the bottom redaction. All right, well, redact didn't show that then. Or even just redact it just to, just to show the picture? Yes, Sean. All right, then. <coughs> I'll, I'll authorize uh, you to publish uh, states Charlie Charlie. <laughs> Seven Charlie Charlie, she says. Thank you, Ronnie. And while we're waiting for this, I know I asked you about Trontavia Stevens. How long had, when did you first meet Trontavia Stevens? I don't remember how I first encountered him. I know he's younger than me, though, so we we probably, we like one in the same grade or school and that. <clears throat> did you know him while you were in middle or elementary school or later than that time? I didn't go to elementary school on Cleveland Avenue. Not even that you went to school on Cleveland Avenue, but I'm just talking about time frame. When did you think you first met him? Why you were in middle and elementary school or a little bit older than that? I can't remember. Okay. At this point, about how long have you known Trontavia Stevens? It's been a minute. I can't, I can't. Like, put a time on it. All right. And what, if anything, did you call, strike that? Did Trontay Stevens have any nicknames? Little Tip. Little Tip? Huh? Is that the only thing you call them? That's what I call them. That's what you call them? Okay. Now, you said you think you were looking now, Susan, at seven Charlie Charlie. You said you were out of town. Do you recall where you may have been out of town when you took this picture? No, I've been to a lot of different states. Okay, so you don't remember where you were? No. All right. Um, if it's easier, there's a stick. Permission for Mr. Um, Murphy to stand, Your Honor? You may. Mr. Murphy, if you take this stick. What do I want to do that? Because I'm asking you to. But what if I don't? I'm asking you to take the stick, please. Thank you so much. Can you point yourself out in the picture? Yeah, I'm at the bottom left. All right. And you said that Mr. Williams is in that right picture? Right beside me to the right. Okay. And where is Mr. McMillan? To the left on the guy on the far right. Can you use your stick that you don't want to use and point him out? To the left of the guy on the far right with the glasses on and the red shirt. Mr. McMillan. Can you stand up, sir, please, and just point on the screen? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You got to see. Thank you. What's the significance of 1426? I don't know. 
Okay, you're in a picture with Mr. Williams holding that flag. Is there a significance of 1426? I don't, I don't know. You have to ask him. I don't got that flag. Okay. And what color are you wearing inside of that um, picture? A red shirt. And are these individuals members of Rock Crew or Red Cartel? Rock Crew or Red Cartel? I don't know. I don't know. I was a member of Red Cartel. I don't know what they gonna be wrong. Okay. Now let's kind of transition. Did there come a point in time in which you no longer affiliated yourself with Red Cartel? Um uh, no. Okay. Do you still affiliate yourself with Red Cartel now? I don't feel that with nothing but my family and kids. Okay. So when did you stop affiliating with Red Cartel? When I stopped affiliating with everything. Okay. <coughs> did you ever create a group called YSL? A group, yeah. Okay. Was it something else besides a group? Not to, not to my means of knowledge. Not to your means of knowledge, okay? Do you still have a copy of One Charlie Charlie in front of you? Yeah. Okay. I want to direct your attention to number one on page two. And let me actually go above that. Here it says four. What does it say on four? Hmm? On page two. Are you looking on page two? Yeah. Okay. Do you see the number four? Yeah. What does it say next to number four? Defend, defendants acknowledgement. Okay. And then below that, where it says A, what does it say? All statements below are truthful. All right. And what does number one say? Why sell otherwise known as Young Slime Life began as a neighborhood group but evolved into a gang? Okay. And did you initial number one? Yeah. It, those are your initials, right? Yeah. Okay. So when I just asked you was why sell a gang, why did you tell me you don't know? Did you not acknowledge that in this document? Yeah, but it's a evolve. I don't know when it evolved into a gang. I know when, when I when we made it, it was a, a neighborhood group. It was right. a group of guys from the neighborhood I made it a, a music group. And in this acknowledgement that you initialed, you said it evolved into a gang. That's what you initialed. Yeah. Okay. So why? I don't know when it evolved into a gang, though. I didn't ask you when. I just asked you, did why so become a gang? Yeah. All right. When did you all form YSL? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the year. Who were the individuals who founded or formed YSL? It was a couple of us. I can't, it was probably about, it was a handful of people though. I can't just name them off the bat, but. Name some of the people you can. Uh, myself. Lil T. And Lil Jeff. We made YSL, the music group. Now, I know you're saying YSL is a music group, but when you all first started, was it a music group? Yeah. And when you say it was a music group, what what do you mean? Were you incorporated as a music group? What, what do you mean by that? When you say incorporated, what do you mean by that? You're saying that it was a music group. Tell the jury what you mean by it was a music group when y'all first started. What do you mean? I mean, we was trying to rap. We was trying to make money off rapping. That's what I mean. Why did it then evolve into a gang if you were first trying to do music? Um, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know. Okay. 
I don't know why I involved into a game. Everybody just wanted to be. Why well, sell? We ain't say we finna be the biggest gang in the world. We ain't do that. How did you come with the name YSL? Um, I think it came from the the designer clothes YSL. If I'm not mistaken. And why did you, Little Jeff, and Little Tick decide to form YSL? Cause we wanted to rap. We wanted to. Every rapper got like a name or like a music group or something behind them, and we wanted to have like that foundation. I want to direct your attention back to page two of Stacey Exhibit One's Charlie Charlie. Mm hmm. What does it say under number two? Why well, say is a group that began in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta, which evolved into a game. Okay. So do you understand that you formed along with Little Jeff and Little Tick YSL in 2012 based upon what you Initialed? Yeah. Okay, so about 2012, even, is that right? Yeah. Okay. I don't even think we were on Cleveland when it happened, though, but okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What I don't think that? we were going to click, like, when we were sitting around, like, we are going to make a music, like a, a group, a music group, we were, I don't even think we was in Cleveland Avenue. But. Where do you think you were? If you weren't on Cleveland Avenue at that time, where were you? 2012, I don't even think we were hanging on Cleveland then. So where were we hanging? Not on Cleveland, where were we? We wasn't hanging, we was trying to promote music. Did y'all still stay off of Cleveland Avenue? Like lived, yeah. Okay. I did. What about Tick? I don't know where he lived at. What about Lil Jeff? His mom still stayed on Cleveland then. All right. Outside of you, Tick, and Little Jeff, were there other individuals back in 2012 a part of YSL? Maybe like two. Who else? I can't really remember their name, but 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 one of them. Okay. And you don't remember that last individual? Mm mm. Mm mm. That no. No. Now, as one of the founding members of YSL, did you determine how someone could gain access into becoming a part of YSL? Never. Never? Never. So how would you determine if this person could claim or be a part of YSL? How would you make a determination? We never did that. Okay. So anybody could be in YSL? Anybody could be like on YSL. E Back in 2012? Any year, to my knowledge, I mean, I've been going to prison for a long time, but we never said, no, bro, you can't be, like, we ain't do that. Nobody never did. Nah, nothing that I heard of. Do you recall back in Do you remember back in 2016 having an interview at the Atlanta Police Department with an investigator, Gaither, um, at the Atlanta Police Department? Hmm? Yeah, where you? In 2015. Really around August of 2015. 
don't know. I, I had an interview, though. I don't remember, like, what year with who, though. And in that interview, your attorney, your attorney, Jacoby Hudson, who's in the courtroom today, was present along with two detectives of the Atlanta Police Department. Do you remember that? I think so. Okay. And do you remember in that interview speaking to the detectives about the founding of YSL and who founded YSL? Do you recall that? No. Okay. Do you recall within that interview stating that it was you, Tick, Mondo that founded YSL? <clears throat> I don't recall saying that, but... Who is Mondo? A friend. Okay. Is Mondo a founder of YSL? Uh, I wouldn't say. You would not say? Okay, let me ask you this, Mr. Murphy. Since you got out of jail for this case, have you been on interviews with the person named Mondo when he was claiming to be a founder of YSL? Have I been on an interview with him? Like he interviewed me? Not he interviewed you, but he, you, him, and Buck Buck being interviewed and him talking about him being a founder of YSL. Do you remember that? Me being interviewed? You, Mondo, and Buck Buck. I think I went with him to an interview. I don't think I was interviewed though. Okay. And in that interview, are you sitting on the couch next to him in the interview? I think I'm sitting next to Buck, but we're on the couch. Y'all on the couch. And in that interview, do you remember having conversations about him being a founder as well of YSL? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Confrontation. Hold on, Mr. Matthews. I'll sustain the objections to form. Maybe you need to rephrase it as to who he was having a conversation with. Okay. We'll get back to that interview from 2023. Let's go back to your 2016 interview, your 2015 August interview. Do you recall in that August 2015 interview telling Detective Gaither and Dennis that when YSL first started, you had to be off of Cleveland Avenue or be from Cleveland Avenue? I don't recall saying that. You don't? I don't. I was on a lot of drugs back then, like. Okay. Back in August. I don't remember none of that, but okay. You were on a lot of drugs when? When you did the interview? All my life. Okay. When you did the interview. I'm sober now, but for a long period of, majority of my life, I was high. Okay. When you did the interview in August of 2015, were you in jail at the time in which you did the interview? in August of 2015. Yeah, I think I was, I was in Rush Street. Okay. And when you went to the interview with Detective Dennis, Detective Gaither, and your attorney, were you high inside that interview? I was high while in Rush Street, so nine times out of 10, I was high. Okay. During that interview, were you able to give them information, which we're gonna get into later, about the case for which you were arrested for. I don't remember that. Um, Back in August... I ain't saying I didn't know I did, though. Well, I don't remember. Back in August <clears throat> 2015, were you arrested for the shooting of Dexter Montgomery? Yeah, that's what I went to prison for. Okay. And back in August of 2015, did you interview or speak with detectives about that shooting? I know I did an interview. I don't remember what I said, though. Okay. But so, yeah. You, yeah. And did you also talk to them about YSL during that interview? I don't remember that. Now, I know you said earlier that anyone could join YSL. Did there come a point in time where there were more members of YSL that were not from Cleveland Avenue?
Can you repeat that? Oh. Sure. When YSL first started, <coughs> were most of the members of YSL from the Cleveland Avenue area? When we started, we was living on Cleveland Avenue, but I want, I'm not from Cleveland Avenue. At some point in time, did you move over to the Cleveland Avenue area? Yeah. Okay. So although you're not, let me back up. When you say you're not from Cleveland Avenue, what do you mean? Uh, that's not where I'm from. If you ask me where I'm from, I'm going to say Gilbert Gardens. Okay. How far is Gilbert Gardens from Cleveland Avenue? Mm -hmm. A minute. It's at the borderline of Forest Park. Okay. In 2005, when you moved over to Cleveland Avenue, in 2012, when you formed um, YSL, had you been living in the Cleveland Avenue area for about seven years at that point? Yeah, I would say. Okay. And so initially, although you were not born on Cleveland Avenue, at this point in time in 2012, had you been over on Cleveland Avenue for a good amount of years? Yeah. All right. And the other individuals, Little Jeff, Tick, Buck Buck Mondo, were they from the Cleveland Avenue area? No. Did they live in the Cleveland Avenue area? No, not all of them. Who did not live in off of Cleveland Avenue? Mondo or Buck Buck. Okay. Where did Mondo or Buck Buck? Where was Mondo from? The West Side. I don't know exactly where, but he's from the West Side. Okay. What about Buck Buck? The West Side. Both from the West Side? And when you say the West Side, what do you mean? The West Side? I don't know how to... What's, what neighborhood is it? It ain't a neighborhood. It's a part of the city. Do you know what streets are over in the west side of Atlanta? Uh -huh. Zone 3. Do you know what zone is the west side of Atlanta? Zone 1. Zone 1. Outside of Buck Buck and Mondo, were there other members as YSL grew that were not from the Cleveland Avenue area? I don't recall. I don't really be remember where people from or where they live there and I don't even think about stuff like that. Do you recall in that same interview that I was just referencing in August 2016, excuse me, 2015 interview that you told Gaither, investigate Gaither, investigate Dennis that as Mr. Williams got bigger, things with YSL kind of changed and more people started coming into YSL. Do you recall telling investigator and investigator Dennis that? Yeah, I'm going to check. Just call it Basis? This is. I'm going to overrule the objection, sir. Do you recall telling them that? Say that again? In your interview with. Investigator Gaither and Investigator Dennis. Do you recall telling them that as Mr. Williams got bigger, more people started joining YSL who were not from the Cleveland Avenue area? That sound about right, though. Okay. I don't remember saying that, but that sound about right. And how did you feel about that? Huh? How did you feel about these other individuals now joining YSL? I don't, I don't care. Was YSL affiliated with any national blood gang set? Yeah. Who or what? I don't think I, like, it's just blood. I don't think it's like no particular individual, you know what I mean? So you said it was just blood? It was blood, Crips. You could be anything if you want. You could be Muslim, Christian. Why I said it wasn't no, you got to be this to be wise. No, it was just, you want to be wise here, you can be wise there. Nobody said you can't be wise here. A fan wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, why I said you wise here. I'm not going to tell you not. Okay. So why I said you said it was made up of people who are part of other gangs, Bloods and Crips? Yeah. Okay. Who were some of the Crips that were a part of YSL? <clears throat> some of the Crips.
Spills. I don't know one. I don't know. No. Which one do you know? Duke. Do you know Duke's real name? Nah, I don't remember his real name. I don't remember his real name. Do you recall in that same August 2015 interview stating that Pee Wee Roscoe was a crip who was a part of YSL? Mm, no, nah, I don't remember saying that, but I, that's about right, though, I guess. Do you, do you know who Pee Wee Roscoe is? I know who Roscoe is. All right. Is he a crip? Mm, yeah. It From was, my knowledge, I don't know if he a real crip, but he could just be saying he crip. I don't know. And was he a part of YSL? Yeah, he worked for uh, for La Jail. Prior to him working for Lil Jeff, was he a part of YSL? I ain't never seen him until he started working for Lil Jeff. And what did he do for Lil Jeff? I think he was his manager or something like that. I don't know. What kind of manager? I ain't sure what kind. I just know he answered a lot of calls. When did you first meet um, Pee Wee Roscoe? Mm hmm. I can't really recall when I met him. He always been around, or like I always seen him out. I don't been knew him, been knew about him. You say that. Okay. When you said he's always been around, are you talking about from 2005, 2012? When you say he's always been around, give me a time frame. I seen him on TV before I even seen him in person. Yeah. Before seeing him on TV, I'm so so talking about in person. When do you first recall encountering Pee Wee Roscoe? At the studio where he worked for Lil Jeff. Okay. And around what year? That's the first time I, I spoke to him. But I seen him before that, like, in in person. Okay. What years are we talking about? I can't remember what year it was, though. Let's go back to our timeline. I mean, if he was working for Lil Jeff, it had to be, like, around 2015. Around 2015. Yeah. Before, like, right before I went to prison or something. Now, within YSL, did any members have to pay dues to get into YSL? Hmm? Did anyone have to pay dues? Like right, pay money? Pay money, yeah. No. Okay. Did anyone have to commit any crimes to be a part of YSL? No, not to my knowledge. All right. Did members of YSL have to assist with payments of bond or putting money on people's commissary if they were in jail or in prison? Um. Uh... You wouldn't have to do that, but I mean, if you mess with a dude and he messed up like that, then everybody probably would expect you to. Okay. I'm going to go back to that interview in August of 2016. Do you recall, oh, excuse me, not August 20, 2015, in February 2016, do you recall being here in the Fulton County Jail? giving a statement to um, Investigator Gaither again, Investigator Dennis, your attorney was present, and a prosecutor with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, Suri Shadahemic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you just, okay. Um, can you all approach, please? Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask your indulgence to, uh, I'm going to let you recess you for just a little bit, and then we'll see where the rest of the day leads us, okay? All right, thank you.
Um, Mr. Short, I'm in possession of your motion limiting, which you did r remind me of yesterday, or, or initially say yesterday. But how long have you had this particular tape or knowledge of these particular instances? That's my first question to you. <laughs> you got in discovery, correct? Sir, uh, the Did you get them in discovery? Yes, the prior... Okay, then yeah. why are you just now, yesterday, filing, I mean, telling me orally, and not doing what you did in your motion, so I could kind of take it up? What, what, I did do it in my motion. No, 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 you filed a motion, but you could have filed this thing months ago. Your Honor, out-of-court statements are not admissible at trial. Okay, that, that's not what I asked you, okay? If you, believe, if you believe it was going to be an issue... You could have filed the same motion three, four, five months ago, correct? It's not. It, yes or no? If you want me to say yes, yes, sure. Okay, that's my point. That's my point about being a forewarned judge is a happy judge, okay? Because we are now taking time out, and, and I'm putting a jury in the back on something that you told me yesterday about, but you could have memorialized this in a motion more than three months ago, probably last year. And I could have taken it up, and we could have, I could have ruled on this. I don't have any problem with that, but this is, a, this is an example of something. If you want to do something like this, go ahead and file the motion. You should have filed it months ago. That's what I'm annoyed with. Okay, in your honor, the state... And that's what it means to be prepared as an advocate. Okay. The state's given you this, okay? You knew about these... Honor, you, the state... You knew about this issue, right? Perhaps the state, knowing that it's an issue, would not want to admit evidence of an individual being a prosecutor I get and it. a defense I, I, attorney on the same I time. get it, but so you know. Perhaps it's not on me. Perhaps the state should not be. Oh, it's, to admit. it's, on, it's on you okay, and it's, it's on, on them. Uh, it's, it's, on, it's, on, it's, on, it's on me. You know why? It's on you because you could have filed this thing months and months ago. And you could have also had a conversation with the state. I have. Okay, and are, are they going to use this particular information? I, you'd have to ask them. Well, that's not what I asked you. Are you going? Are they going to the state, use that Honor. particular information? I cannot speak for the state, Your Honor. Okay. Do you see the problem or the issue that you that you filing this untimely motion has caused? Yes or no? Uh, you're not going to like my answer, so I'm just going to remain silent. That's not being an advocate, because if you can give me a reason as to why you waited months and months, because you probably, when did the state give this uh, interviews, the first interview or note that you were going to, about the proffer agreement with Mr. Chata Imanez? The, the proffer agreement was in the first round of discovery in July of 2022. Okay. When was the other interviews that were made? In to, uh, from 2015 turned over? Uh, the last one was okay, so arguably, Mr. Sharp, this could have been filed sometime in 2022 or early 2023 when we started having these particular motions. Your colleagues, you filed several motions, several preliminary issues I've had to take up. So that's what I'm telling you I, in terms of just having to Stall the proceedings so I can go ahead and take this up. I'm not trying to stall anything, Your Honor. No, 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 no. Uh, and, and I don't mean, and I don't mean you. I, I, listen, listen. I don't mean you like, like just filing this to stall it. Okay. Okay. All right, but the state has. But you filed it. But you. But my angst with you. I don't have any angst with you filing the motion. I don't. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just annoyed that you didn't file it in 2023. The state has been fully aware that their colleague, who was a gang prosecutor, was serving as a defense attorney on this case. And okay, I but that's don't a understand why it's my job to flag that issue. But I have flagged the issue. Okay. And so if I'm going to take now, the it, now I will. you flag the issue now in 20, in, on the 9th, the 10th of April of 2024. Have a seat, sir. Okay. Thank you. State, are you going to be using this um, recording involving, I'm going to mark Mr. Shark's motion in limine as the next court exhibit, but are you going to really use this motion, I mean, use the proffer agreement uh, or proffer that Mr. that was held on or about?
February 16th of 20, 20, 2016? February 16th, 20, 2016? Yes, and Mr. Murphy continues to go down this line of questioning. And I, I'm going to tell you, that's a very ethical, problematic thing for you all. Your Honor, and this is what I'll say. Mr. Suri Chata Jimenez waived his conflict and decided to take a defense attorney in this case when he knew he was a prosecutor in 2016. No, but it's you all's use of that. I think that waiving the, waiving, his waiving is another separate issue, okay, which we didn't have to get into because of that particular issue. But utilizing his particular proffer um, that he was involved in might be a problem. But it's a proffer of the state of a, it's a prior inconsistent statement. But he's, but he's a, but he's a counsel that was involved in this case. Right, but Your Honor, there's no legal basis, there's no ethical basis for for this ruling. There is, he was a state's attorney, like anyone else can get jobs and move on and do whatever they I want. I know that, and but... He, there's a prior inconsistent statement. Who, the, whoever the state's representative is, doesn't matter. The fact that it matters is this a prior inconsistent statement. Well, I think it may, is, it may confuse the jury because the jury's seen Mr. Imanez, Imanez as a defense counsel for another prior accused who is now no longer in this case. So, yes, there is the there is the possibility and the probability that they are going to be confused about that. So can we not just instruct the jury that he was a previously with the state of Georgia and left and got a new job? Like what? There's a remedy for that. The state is not going to harp on the fact that Mr. Jimenez was a prosecutor then, but this is the prior inconsistent statement. He had a previous job, and like anyone else in the world, in the country, they can leave their position and go on to another case. When this case started, Mr. Jimenez knew that this proffer existed. He chose to represent a client in this case. He is no longer sitting. He's no longer representing any of these individuals in the courtroom, Your Honor. So Mr. Jimenez, as a defense attorney or a prosecutor in this case, is of no consequence because he's not even present in these proceedings. His work with this case is completed, Your Honor. The, the sole reason why we're bringing this in has nothing to do with Mr. Jimenez. I it know, has solely to but... do with the prior inconsistent statement, and the state should be able to confront this witness with any in prior inconsistent statement that he plans on clearly giving during the course of his testimony in court. Today. You'd agree that his that Mr. Chada Jimenez's, is, um, if if the tape or anything would be utilized, it would have to be redacted. I, I don't agree with that, Your Honor, because he does that. not, and, and a few things about the prof, Your Honor. But you see, well, here's the problem, and here's what I'm going to get on you all about. You all knew this was going to be an issue. We did not. And you, 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 discuss, you put this in discovery. But we you did put not one of your this. former colleagues who took a proffer, who then, who then, you, and you made it as part of your discovery. So how could you know it wasn't an issue? See, because, Your Honor, we put the proffer because that's the prior consistent statement. It had nothing to do with Mr. Jimenez. I know, but, but, the, but... We did but not the, think this was going to be But the employment an issue. issue may be something that the court wanted to take up. Your Honor, but we, the state did not believe that it to be an issue. Until Mr. Sharp brought it to our attention yesterday, the state did not believe believe it to be an issue because... All right, I guess, proffer, I guess you all will be working this weekend then because this is exactly what I told you was going to be a problem. You bring this stuff up, I got a jury sitting in the box, and you got a witness that you're probably going to have days of examination with. So let me go ahead and decide. I'm going to recess for about 10 minutes. We'll make a decision Can I just on add that. Because, else? and you, Mr. Sharp, no law in your motion or motion limine for me to consider. You probably need to supplement it with some law. So I'll let you all think about that. I'll be back in 10 minutes. We're in recess.